After 24 years, the International Association of Judges has returned to Taipei for its annual meeting. One highlight of the event was a keynote speech by TSMC founder Morris Chang. The tech magnate explained to judges from around the world what makes Taiwan such a semiconductor powerhouse. After 24 years, the International Association of Judges has held its annual meeting in Taiwan once again, convening judges from 66 countries. Also present were President Tsai Ing-wen and TSMC founder Morris Cheng, who gave a keynote speech. As soon as he stepped on the stage, he transformed into Professor Cheng, correcting a statement made by the MC. He said that TSMC made 90% of the world's chips. Uh, he exaggerated. We actually make about 50%. However, we do make 90% of the most advanced chips. Cheng spoke about the birth of semiconductors and the founding of TSMC in 1987. He listed Taiwan's advantages in the semiconductor industry, the foundry model, the abundance of highly educated talent, and employees willing to work long hours at chip fabs. Enough people in Taiwan that are willing to work had excellent manufacturing back in the 50s and 60s. Things changed. And uh, while Taiwan has these advantages now, I think that may and probably will change also uh, in another 20, 30 years. TSMC's challenges in Arizona have been attributed to a clash of work cultures. Cheng said that although things may change 30 years down the line, Taiwan currently held the edge in the industry. While explaining a flowchart about the chip sector, Cheng walked from end to end of the stage, pointing to parts of the chart for emphasis. I'm sorry that, uh, that uh, we have no pointer here. Maybe I should just uh, go ahead and um, use my uh, hand. Huh? To get across the importance of semiconductors, Chang gave his audience a little pop quiz. Do you know how many transistors the smartphone contains? Yeah, please, 30 times off. Actually, it's about 15 billion now. Cheng said that about 2.5 billion people in the world use Taiwan-made chips. He said that, for Taiwan, it was crucial to maintain its global leadership in its most significant competitive industry.